Hello, my fellow soul gardeners, and welcome now to Astro 102, episode 11. We're looking at how to interpret charts. We're almost done with the 102 series. And in this episode, I'm going to look at spiritual age. How can you tell how old a soul is? Now, I personally believe that a soul can start off in 2010 for the first time, incarnate for the first time. I don't necessarily believe that every soul has been here since Atlantis. That's not necessarily true in my opinion. And we are kind of jumping off of formal astrology and into a techie opinion now. And my opinion, just so you know, is simply based by my own empirical evidence, doing charts, hundreds, thousands, I don't even know how many charts I've done, but I have seen the themes and I have learned and I will share with you all what I have learned. So to me, spiritual age can be interpreted in a few ways. Really, it's experience. You have spiritual experience. To me, the 12 signs are 12 states of consciousness, and we either have experience in these states or we don't have experience in these states. When we have a planet in these states, that means that we have a focus and experience. Some people say, oh, but my 11th house is empty. Mm, the house is never empty. It's part of who you are. It's a state of your awareness. You just don't have a lot of focus in that particular house. That's okay. Doesn't mean you're not good at it. Doesn't mean you haven't done it before. And for instance, you know, the 11th house is a perfect one. The 11th house is Aquarius, right? So, okay, there's no planet in Aquarius, but maybe your, your Uranus is in chapter three. So that's a well-progressed Uranus, which would tell me your Aquarius is in fact progressed or your 11th house is progressed because Uranus is. So there's many ways to skin a cat in astrology. Let's look at the biggest, most obvious picture to spiritual age, in my opinion, again, and that is balance. I believe that our energy is seeking balance. I believe that fundamentally the universe seeks balance. I believe that young souls are extremely out of balance in one way or another. So I look at the wheel and I ask myself, if this wheel was on a car or a vehicle, would it spin evenly? Okay. And I've said this before in other episodes. Would it be thump to thump to thump to thump to thump because all the planets are on one side and no planets on the other? Are they balanced? Are the planets well distributed? Are there a lot of squares and oppositions? Is everything nice and smooth? If it would run smoothly and be smooth, that, first of all, I think is an old soul. That soul has worked out the conflicts in their own being and they brought it to a balance. I think balance is a big determiner of whether or not your soul is young or old or experienced or inexperienced. That's probably a better approach to this is experience or lack of experience. So I look at the overall picture. Now, if there's a lot of oppositions or if things are way out of balance or everything's at the bottom or everything's at the top, well, this is a young soul. They're still learning how to segregate and separate and balance their energies. If people have a lot of conjunctions, I wouldn't say that they're a young soul, but I do believe that a conjunction is out of balance. You've got two planets here and one planet here or two planets here. They're still not separated. They're still learning to separate and distinguish from one another. Does it, does it mean that they're an immature soul? Not at all. Does it mean that they're not going to do amazing things with that conjunction? They very well may. You know, with conjunctions, you have genius and you have extra potential there. But I think at the end of the day, one of these days, those planets are probably going to separate. Again, my opinion, okay? Not necessarily uh, the way it is. It's what I know so far in astrology, and I've also looked at these clients' lives, I've heard what's going on in their life, I see the consequences of those huge conjunctions and how it throws their life out of balance and have to work all the time on the opposite side to rebalance their life. So, inexperience, that's all we're really talking about here. Another major factor that I look at are, of course, the grand aspects. A grand trine, soul pyramid, is a mastery of that element. So, right off the bat, if I see a grand trine, old soul, they have obviously mastered a certain element. Now there's consequences to that. Watch the Grand Aspects episode to see the consequences of a Grand Trine, but at least I know that they have learned one element and right off the bat they get kind of kicked up into at least high school, in my opinion. The most important one though, I think really, are the degrees. You've probably heard me talk about this in the Daily Horoscopes. Chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Now this is something I completely bring to astrology. I've not read about this anywhere. It's been my own observation that the planets in the three chapters differ in their maturity. It shows the experience, right? Chapter one is zero degrees through nine degrees, okay? Any planet in zero to nine degrees is basically in elementary school. They're in elementary school in that state of awareness, and you also have to look at the degrees as far as the house is concerned. You divide a 30 degree house into three chapters as well. If a planet falls in the first chapter of the house, they're new at that aspect or that state of awareness, okay? So chapter one is zero to nine degrees. Chapter two is 10 to 19 degrees, and chapter three is the wrap-up, okay? 
So a chapter one planet is a young planet. It's, and if you look at the clients and you talk about what's going on, for instance, I have Mars one degree. I am not good at being aggressive. I am not good at the masculine vibration. I am not good at being ego-based. My ego does not come to my defense very much. My Mars is clearly in kindergarten. I fully admit it. I'm immature with that Mars placement. It's a young chapter one planet, and it's in chapter one of the certain house in my chart too. So I totally confess I'm young in that area. Chapter two planets are ones where people have kind of gotten a grip on how this all works. They're past the silly kindergarten lesson and they're really trying to do something with the second chapter, something with that consciousness. So my sun is 18 degrees, so it's a chapter two sun in Taurus. I know how to manifest, but I haven't manifested a fortune just yet. I haven't manifested everything I want to manifest. I want to manifest a lot and do a lot more. I wasn't born into wealth. I wasn't born into abundance. So my soul does not know how to bring this automatically. I have to do it and learn how to do it. So I'm learning how to use my wand I'm in chapter two, I'm good at it, I'm not super at it. And chapter three are usually masters. So when you have a planet in chapter three, okay, you are learning to not only do it, but take it to the next level. These are the pioneers and the leaders of that vibration or the leaders of that seat of awareness or the leaders of that house or chapter three of that house. So look at all the planets in your chart. See what degree they're in. If they're in the first chapter, the second chapter, the third chapter, that tells you how mature those planets are in that state of awareness, okay? My Mars is young, my sun is pretty middle-aged, right? I have some planets in chapter three that I'm great at. And kind of get the overall variety. If most of your planets are in chapter one, pretty young soul, inexperienced, haven't learned a lot yet in those vibrations. Still gonna learn, anything wrong with that? Absolutely not, we're here to learn. Chapter two, Pretty middle-aged soul. Soul's pretty much gotta, gotta hang for things. They're not gonna end up accidentally killing their husband or running over the dog, okay? They kinda get it. Chapter three, lots of chapter three. Brilliant, leaders, taking it to the next level. But also, you know, when you have a lot of chapter three planets, you're a little lost, you're a little confused. You're a little different from the rest of society. You don't quite fit in. You're not sure what to do with your genius. There's a uh, insecurity about why you're different. So everyone comes with their lessons. No one gets out of the learning, but you can kind of tell through the chapters, in my opinion, and the chapters of the houses where people stand. So your soul work is, how old is your soul? And don't judge yourself. It's okay. If we learned everything, I don't believe we would incarnate on earth. Just my opinion. All right, that's all I have for Astro 102. I will see you next time. Live, love, be.